Thousands of police officers have crowded into Festival Hall to learn how to save lives, their own. A visiting American expert is teaching them how to cope with a job that can take a deadly toll. More from Brett McLeod. Long queues outside Festival Hall. Police aren't just watching the crowd, they are the crowd. The warm-up man is the Chief Commissioner, the headline performer proving popular. The reaction has been overwhelming. Uh, we have members come up who have said, I've been 35 years, I should have had this 25 years ago. Dr Kevin Gilmartin is a behavioural scientist, teaching police how to cope with stress that can lead to self-destruction. Main issues are sleep disorder, social isolation and depression. And when you combine those together with the trauma they see at work every day, we have a very injured psychological population with our police officers. Only last week, Graham Ashton warned of a crisis in the force with two officers taking their lives. Police work's a marathon, and you can't enter sprinters in a marathon, and that's what happens. These cops start out of the blocks as sprinters, then after 8 or 10, 12 years, they're, they're gone. There's no, there's no one left for them. He has a history that gets the crowd on side. For 20 years, Kevin was a cop himself. I think they put their guard down a little bit more. Cops are by nature somewhat suspicious. That's part of the job, so I think it helps. As a sign of his success, last time Kevin was here, about two years ago, the number of police he spoke to was about 700. This time around, it's 4,000. They're told having a life outside policing is vital. The association chief saying he had an unusual part-time job even while he was still a detective. For 15 years I drove coaches in the state overnight, so I had something else in my life other than Victoria Police, and that's probably the only thing that's kept me sane. Brett McLeod, Nine News. Barack Obama has urged Russia...